Hi, I'm Shane with Scaletrains.com. Welcome to Dave Hausman's incredible Chicago, Denver, and Pacific Railroad. This is one of the largest home railroads you'll ever see. It's absolutely incredible. Dave's been working on this since the late 1990s, and it's still a work in progress. But we're here today to check out some of the really cool scenes as we go around the layout. And then we're going to do a really cool demonstration on the museum quality turbine. So let's take a quick tour of this amazing railroad. Welcome back. Well, as you can see, just about every Western railroad you can imagine is represented here. This is an incredible railroad, and we really appreciate Dave allowing us to take you on a really quick tour. Of course, it was a lot longer than what you see in the video. So let's get started and let's talk about the turbines and all the other cool models that we have to share. Union Pacific built 30 of the Big Blow turbines, also known as Super Turbines or GTEL 8500 horsepower turbines. They were delivered in two batches, the first batch, number one through eight. They're denoted because they don't have any grab irons here on the nose. They're also missing the Union Pacific lettering. This means these would have actually ran with the Challengers, the Big Boys, and the FEFs. Some other spotting features on the early versions, the horn is gonna be mounted on the cab. You're gonna notice the large grill and as we look at the fuel tank, these had the smaller fuel tanks on the sides. And then of course the B unit, it's gonna have the square air intake. The next group, the nine through thirties, they were all delivered with grab irons on the nose, the Union Pacific lettering, the horn was moved from the cab to back on the large grill and you'll notice that a shutter was added to the grill as well. Also, the fuel tank has extensions for longer runtime. And two new air intakes were introduced. The most common was the Dynavane air intake on the B unit. And then of course the experimental number 30 with the large air intake tubes. For collectors, there's a lot of subtle differences between the turbines. You know, we pointed out some of the features, but here's some of the big spotting features. On the roof of the locomotives, you'll see that there's dynamic brakes. You'll notice this H shape. So this is called an H, H dynamic. The one right next to it is an HI dynamic. As we look at the B units, you'll see an HI dynamic, as well as an II dynamic. Another big feature that changed a lot between the turbines, and they often were swapped, is the fuel tender. There's two versions of fuel tender. You have the large 24C, 24,000 gallon fuel tender with the Commonwealth truck. And then you have the 23C tender, which is a 23,000 gallon riveted tender with the Buckeye truck. And there's also other subtle variances, like number 28 has a uh, doghouse on the B unit. We don't have a representation here. One thing you'll notice too is on the rebuild units, these actually have the SKF bearings on the truck and the rebuilt units have rotating bearing caps. The museum quality HO scale GTEL 8500 horsepower three unit turbine is equipped with ESU's latest Log Sound 5 DCC and sound decoder. Let's listen to the startup sequence and see the numerous lighting effects of this exquisite locomotive.
In addition to LED lighted headlights and number boards, the Super Turbine also features LED lit class lights that can be cycled between white, red, green, and off when using a DCC controller. Underneath the cab, on the engineer's side, is a ground light so the engineer can see when his train is moving at night. There's also a walkway light in between the A and B unit. Both can be turned on or off. At night, the lighting effects can truly be appreciated. Check out the illuminated class lights. The three unit super turbine was the epitome of Union Pacific's turbine program. Of course, it had an A unit with a prime mover, a B unit with a turbine, and of course the fuel tender. And what would happen is you'd really have to turn on the B unit or ignite the turbine to get the maximum power out of the locomotives. So we'll do that now. So now we're going to demonstrate two unique museum quality features. The first is the curve squeal sound. As the flanges press against the rail, you're going to hear a squeal come from the wheels. As we get a little bit further down and we cross over a switch, you're going to hear a frog clank sound. So let's listen to those two sounds now. Now that we've learned about the features of our museum quality HO scale big blow turbine, let's watch some runbys on Dave Hausman's spectacular western themed Chicago, Denver and Pacific Railroad. We truly appreciate Dave Hausman's hospitality and use of his fantastic Chicago, Denver, and Pacific Railroad. With railroad, road number, and era-specific details, as well as industry-leading features like frog clank and curve squeal sounds, our museum-quality Big Low Turbine sets the bar high. To learn more about the HO Scale Super Turbine, 
or to purchase a three unit set for your layout or display case, visit our website at scaletrains.com or a select retailer. If you have not already, be sure to click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.